have to freaking trust break Maskoy. That's gonna hurt as hell. Remember that if you want to get notified about this series or any other series, subscribe to the channel because I can see that only 40% of you are subscribed right now. Mazovia. Perfect nation to get this very nice achievement which is called Back to the Piast, which is pretty much about forming Poland as this nation. You can see that we already killed Poland. We've got Kiev, Danzig and Zaporozhye as our vassals and most importantly, or maybe almost most importantly, we are HRE Emperor with two reforms and we're working on the third one while we claim the throne of Maskoi. Did you know, we probably said it in my island video that once you form a nation, you're getting over all of its cores. So theoretically, on all of these provinces, once I for Poland, I will not have to core it. So what I have to do, say I have to go here, I have to go here and see, I only have to call Poznań, Sierac and Kraków. All the other provinces I can cancel. And once they finish, I'll be having full course on all of those beauties. And we are back to work as a great power number five. And we'll be working to, of course, get even higher. It's time to finish annexation of Kiev, which is fixing our borders and name placement a lot. Next step is to form Poland. Of course, I'm gonna state all of those provinces and right away decrease autonomy wherever we can so we can maximize the gains that we are getting out of these terrains. Papal influence that I saved, I'm gonna get this, which is, yeah, it's massive, it doesn't really matter, but the new feature, which is improved relations, is gonna definitely be helpful with our guest expansion, especially that we are about to declare Muscovy. Hmm, Castile and Aragon, they both don't have an heir. Well, the ruler age here is not big because it's 26, but I think that I should improve relations with Castile and try getting Piast on the throne. There goes the last coring from Poland. This allows me to do this. So we've got Franks to this a cultural union. New idea sets right now. We have the calf cost, we have max promoted cultures, we have production efficiency, stab cost modifier, we've got manpower, infantry combat ability, calf combat ability. So maybe I will start trolling with a little bit of calf. Our income is 27, but here goes the big bat. I can go and state this. You can see that everything is our full core except those princes, like, of course. So, of almost a hundred thousand manpower, we are ready to go and conquer the hell out of Europe. And there goes also the mission tree because Mazovi has a basic mission tree. So, the Prussian Confederation, sick. Now I have to recamp Plasia, which is pretty much taking to hell. Reincorporate Mazovia is national unrest and really rich to massive. This is gonna be super useful. Especially we consider the amount of the rebels that are coming and the Polish inheritance of Mazowie gives me local development because in Warsaw the Commonwealth will require me to conquer a bunch of lands from Lithuania but that's gonna be super easy break the rush and that will take time but Polish Renaissance Polish Renaissance is super nice event because with two stability I can actually get a level 5 advisor that costs me nothing but to get it I need more stability I can actually right away do that so what if I get the stab cost guy here I increase the stab to 2 and then I click the mission Polish Renaissance that gives me 75% cheaper advisor Nikolaus Copernicus so I will get him level 5 and you see that I also have a bunch of claims to keep expanding east. Time to also get back in the text. It cost me 178 points to get this technology. It's also time to repay our 3% loans. So we're only left with the 1% ones. I cannot even start repaying those. So be completely out of loans. And right now our balance is already at the level of... 11 but we are just getting started you can see that austria doesn't have an air right now and the king is 53 years old so if he dies without an air then the piast will get into the throne i guess we're not lucky enough he just right away got a new air on the throne ah yes one of the advantages of forming poland the statue of piotrkov I can even get stability and mercantilism, but pay plus 10% for my tax for the next 30 years or lose free stability. 
I'm gonna wait two months because I don't have admin mana and then I'm gonna just get minus three stability. I'm gonna get this guy on level four and get this guy on level two. So I now have four two two advisors for which I'm paying 10 ducats monthly. Hey look, Lithuania is dying to Muscoy, but that's good news, right? Because if we PU Muscoy, we will take all these terrains for ourselves. I could already finish my offensive ideas but the 8th build deck is more important, it's Infantry Fire and Calf Shock. I started building some Calf to use our nice 43 Calf Combat ability, but just it will be like probably 8000 ideally. And yes guys, I forgot to show you this! Back to the past is in our hands. Now we have a problem. Remember, we claimed the throne of Russia because their heir was Piast and with low claim of the throne. But for the time it's increasing. So our problem is right now that the next month I'm gonna lose my castle's body. So what I have to do, I have to freaking trust break Maskoi. That's gonna hurt as hell, but I have to do it. Otherwise, we won't get the union. There's gonna be plenty of aggressive expansion and minus free stability, but I'm not afraid. I'm not freaking afraid. You need to take the measures to achieve your goals. And we definitely don't have enough troops right now to enforce our demands. It's 64,000 versus 20-ish of our troops. Okay, now you're ready to fight. I have a combat stack 1600, so the combat with uh, to fight with Muscoy, and they're just gonna go have fun. Why this stack's 1010 is just gonna go and start seeing the Muscoy. I'm gonna actually go for Mozaisk or straight from Moskva because that's the war goal. Why the combat stack is just gonna stay around and engage on the enemy's armies. Okay, I'm getting attacked in Moskva, but it's gonna be tricky because they have an army close to here. So I'm just gonna wait until 17th of March. Now I'm gonna score the earth. I'm reinforcing with some troops to make it a little bit more efficient. Okay, let's reinforce it four more thousand slowly. Wait a few days, reinforce with four more thousand, wait a few days and reinforce with four more thousand. This way we won it quite easily and I can go and try taking the Mojais fort right now. See, we're not that much lucky today. Also, Castile got an air on the throne, so no Piast over there for now. You know what's the worst part of fighting with this Muscovy? The generals. 5-4 Ivan Piast and 4-5 Innocenti Disco. Well, at least our Wings Hussars managed to completely destroy them and those guys stopped the siege of Moskva thanks to it. It took us some time, well, four years and a lot of death troops, but we've got the Union over Moscow enforced right now. I can even take a couple, more than a couple of ducats as compensation for the war. I guess the expansion is not gonna hurt us at all because they are orthodox. You see that in Europe it's pretty much nothing and in the player's map mode. In the meantime, anyway, I will choose with Lithuania and that, so it's time to take over our claims over there. I'm really curious because Protestant Reformation started and it started in the capital of Danzig. I'm gonna annex Danzig in two years, then I'm gonna release in Kingsberg Teutonic Order, then after a few years of truce, I'm gonna enforce Legion on them so there'll be no longer a center of formation here. And this is good because this is not inside the HRE like it could be and it's not gonna convert that many of princes so we have a chance to get another reform soon. Fun fact about the war with Lithuania I can take all of my claims in it plus a few additional provinces. That's almost no August expansion and that's not that much of our extension. So now if we go to the player's map mode we are filling the whole Eastern Europe with our beautiful color. Beautiful. Now what's interesting is that I could take this mission to get discipline and go take down the Ottomans but I think they are a little bit too strong for me right now. I need to scale a little bit better so I'll leave this mission for later and I could get this mission to get claims on Hungary but the thing is if Hungary is not under person union under someone else you're getting a person union castle's belly. So I prefer to wait because maybe one day Austria will be weak enough to not deal with the pretender rebels in Pest and then Hang you break free, so take over them as my personal union. Take a look at this beauty. Level 4 was already a lot, but level 5 advisor for 4.5 ducats is just perfection. Annexation of Danzig is now finished. I know this borders from somewhere, and I'm left with this center of reformation. But the issue here is 
it's only Teutonic Order that would receive it. Which is bad news because Teutonic Order is still alive in these two provinces. So what I could do, I could attack Teutonic Order for those two provinces, kill them, then release them only in Kruje, Leviets and the Force Legion. To declare on Teutonic Order, I've got a claim. Problem is, Bohemia will help. So I'm just gonna go and attack Denmark and call Bohemia into such war. This guy will just go slowly start even down. I wait a month and attack Teutonic Order and Bohemia can't help in such war. There we go. Perfect borders and release of the Holstein so it will no longer be in heads of someone outside of the HRE for which I was getting minuses. And now I just go to Krulevitz, I return the province to Teutonic Order you see that we'll be having troops for the 5 years, and in 5 years I just declare a war on them and enforce the region, which will just get rid of the center of the formation. Just perfectly, when I managed to get my positive relations with Muscovy, ruler died. Remember, if you have negative relations with personal union, then the union breaks on the monarch's death. So now we are with 156 ruler, it's not bad because we still have 13, 12, 12 mana generation with this advisor and focus on admin. So this is 10 Imperial Hour Third that we just got for free and here, see nobody is voting for the reform and this is simply because we are overextended. So as soon as we get rid of the overextension, this will be fixed. Third reform is ours. This gives me Castle's Belly on all of the nations bordering HRE to get them into the HRE. That's very good, but the disadvantage is this costs a lot of aggressive expansion, so I need to be aware of that. Oh no! Anyway. anyway, we've got so much mill points, add me points as well. So I'm gonna sell my titles, so I'm gonna go and death my provinces. Look at this. I'll go and get some fun. No provinces like Lublin. Mr. Lublin, would like to get more development? Of course you would. And this is not multiplayer, so we can go and death with tax up to more. Sandomish, hello Mr. Sandomish. How about we dev a little bit? Tick, 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 tick. How about we do the same in Tarnov? Right now I spent enough of admin points and I'll be spending only mill points on deving, okay? Let's go and dev Rava. And Rava I'm gonna go and develop only to 10 because over 10 the cost of deving will be increased. Then I go to dev Kalish and Kalish is exactly the same case. Oh, there is no prosperity here, so no deving without prosperity. In Wrocław, is it the same? No, in Wrocław is very good. So just getting Wrocław up to 9, okay, that doesn't matter to get more right now. Tick, tick, and tick. So we spent like 700 power points, and right now maximum power is 114,000. Shall we get started, Mr. Friuli? Let me go and expand Empire into you. I'm gonna call Brandenburg because I have infinite amount of favors in them. I'm gonna call Brandenburg and go and sit you down. And they right away got the army reform. This is for 10 years. So I'm gonna wait two months to get it for a longer time. And I'm then gonna use it on the Ottomans. Because this is time to kill them. Let's see. For Aquilea, I'm gonna get one. Imperial Alfredi, that's a starter. Next step is gonna do the same on Ragusa. And this, on the other hand, is gonna be 1.3 Imperial Alfredi. But step by step, we're gonna achieve our goal. Mr. Teutonic Order, you should be Catholic, shouldn't you? And as you are Catholic, there's no center of reformation anymore. That was the only and hopefully the last center of the Protestant Reformation because Reformation is coming. Another 2.8 coming from Mantua. <laughs> yes, HRE is coming back to Italy. Alright, there's a funny situation with the Ottomans. They're fighting in Bosnia, okay, that doesn't matter. But France is helping Bosnia. So France is actually coming with the troops here. We've got Holy War castles building on them because there is crusade against the Ottomans. So let's call Austria against it. Now I've got the crusade effect. So our morale is currently 5.2 and if you compare it to the Ottomans, they actually have a super nice morale as well because they have a golden era 4.9 but still I believe I should completely annihilate them. And, but that's not the end. I'm gonna get another 10% morale of armies from here. So now we have 
5.5. Let's see how this battle will go. Winged Fusars are coming at them over here. I would like to have a beautiful stack white pass with 1 to 9 rolls. I don't see it happening. Nope. Not really. That's fine. Let's go and keep sitting down more of the four. Did I see it correctly? Austria just uh, lost their heirs. It's fine. Let me just go and get the Mari. So there's a chance that we get the throne. And same case for the Castile. But both of the rules are really young. So don't lie to each other. It's almost impossible. <laughs> what is this? I need to deal with this, guys. <laughs> you know what? As institution is not gonna come to us anytime soon. I need to develop it myself, and I'm gonna develop it. Let's go with Henjine. Let's get the death cost here, and we are gonna spend all of our diplomat meal points and a little bit of admin, but not much of admin because I want to take this tech soon and unlock the probably admin ideas. So let's just get started. Tick, tick. Institution is now present here, so just go to Warsaw now and we get the advanced effort, and then it will be easy to get it. Don't you dare trying to siege down my force ever again. Can we agree on that? Because it's gonna always end up very badly for you. Let's go and sell the titles. Let's go and take one additional loan that allows me to raise the institution. Now I can take this for 500, not 700 power points, and unlock a new idea group, which is going to be Advi. Unfortunately, freaking Bosnia is occupying so many Ottoman provinces, and they don't have enough wars to peace out. So I'm gonna peace out it already. All of those provinces, maybe except those actually. Let's take. Constantinople instead, they're not gonna accept the Constantinople, so let's take Shugla Fort. Something like this. Sick. From them, I'm gonna go and release a vassal, which is of course Byzantium. I'm going to feed this Byzantium vassal with a couple of additional provinces. And then those three over here, I'll keep for myself as this will a great start to keep expanding into Anatolia. Next step, go and clear borders with Lithuania. Ay 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 ay, both Habsburgs and Trastamaras have heirs. White Castile has Fernando de Valois out of nowhere. This is something weird, because game is allowing me to select a naval doctrine. That's awesome, right? Let's take a look. That I don't have a single ship. This is based. I'm just gonna go and get the ship trade power. There it goes. Let's fix the borders of Lithuania completely. Such a beauty, and even more of a beauty if we take a look at the player's map mode. And next is to attack Bosnia to expand Empire there. France will help, but I decided that honestly, the numbers advantage will be on our side, so let's just go and crush them. Ah, and guess who is the number one great power already? This is actually a good news, and we are a little bit lucky again, because look, we just got an heir literally a few months ago. He's zero years old, we've got a queen consort, we'll be having her for 15 years. That's gonna be terrible mana generation, 14, 7, 6. But honestly, I don't care, I'm ahead. Like hell in all of the techs. So, I'm happy about this, because this is 10 Imperator that I just got for free, so we have 34 of it already. Mr. Franz, show me your army quality, yes, I would like to... Is this a joke? Mr. Louis de Valois, are you joking on me? To be honest, I expected more. Second center of reformation just appeared, and it's in Riga, okay. We've got truce with them for the next 5 years, so in 5 years... I'll do the same what I did with Teutonic Order. Taking down Pari took me 69 days. Very nice. Can I white piece France after this? That's actually quite close, but we will need to either carpetage this land or get another fort. But I think I should be able to do a really nice carpetage around. Okay, friends. Get the hell out of this war. I needed to kill 54,000 of their troops. But that was absolutely worth it, because when I go and peace out Bosnia, 
This is 12 Imperial Alfred, exactly what I need to embrace another reform. And we've got 50. Of course, I can't get the next reform because of my overextension, but once I bring it down, I'm gonna embrace it. And we've got second center of reformation that is in the capital, not even capital. That's bad news because uh, ha 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 ha. We have to go and take care of it. Oh no! Anyway. anyway, let me embrace the fourth Imperial Reform, which is giving me diplomatic reputation and yearly tax income, which is uh, pretty much non important. The peace against Teutonic Order and taking finally Kingsberg back. I'll start coring it, of course, but I would like also to move my main node to the Baltic Sea. At first, it might be barely profitable, but for the time when I get more trade power in this node and I'll be having merchants dragging the trade into it, it would be totally worth it. From Volgast, I have an idea. So I'm gonna take my claim, that's no of expansion, but I also want to take their capital. Okay, the plan is, because I'm taking this province from them, their capital, theoretically, their new capital should be Rostock, so the center of reformation. So in the next war, I should actually take as uh, minimal peace as possible, so in the next war, I'll be able to enforce the religion on them, so don't do this, which will convert the capital, so the center of reformation, to Catholic. The new capital is Rostock, so exactly in seven years I'll be able to get rid of the center of reformation, while in the meantime I'm gonna create a spy network on Mecklenburg thanks to this province to just force the region on them as well. As Ferrari is too big for me to enforce them into the empire, I'm gonna partition them. So I'm gonna release Bologna, Mantua, Modena and Padua, and all of those nations will be available to be added to the Holy Roman Empire. That's the new mechanic, I'm guaranteeing all of those guys independence so can i cancel it right away yes okay so just do this and as soon as our truce ends because now i just got truce with all of those guys i'm gonna integrate them into the empire it's time to crush the peasantry so i'm gonna attack those guys and just call all of my allies because i have plenty of favors and all of them let's see Austria favors seven, yeah, it's around a hundred everywhere. That, that's a hard choice. Are we going for the economy or are we going for the worst core cause versus other religions? I will start with the economy because that's something that we struggle with a little bit more. Let's see, we are pumping this up and honestly that should be way higher. I'm going to start my fourth war that I'll be running at the same time. And that's gonna be conquest of Riga, but remember this, yeah, call the allies. This doesn't really matter because I just here to get rid of the center of reformation. Okay, guys, I think with this first place in the great powers list, on the way for the fifth HR reform, and with this beautiful players map mode, we can finish up this episode. So thank you so much for all the engagement, and let me know by liking this video if you'd like me to continue this series because we are about to revoke the privilege in the next episode.